The 2015-2016 NBA season was truly one of the greatest of all time. From Kobe Bryant's historic last game, to the Warriors breaking a 73-9 regular season record, and then blowing a 3-1 series lead in the NBA Finals to LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well guys, today we are going to re-simulate this legendary season here on NBA 2K23 to see if the results stay the same or if they change. And so fellas, go grab a snack, sit down, relax, and let's get this simulation underway. Here we come. And so we are now here on the NBA 2K23 My League, and I have found some accurate rosters to the 2015-2016 season, and you guys can see them up on the screen. We're going to skim through them, but we see the 76ers with a young Joel Embiid. But man, looking at these rosters, it's giving me so many great memories. As we see the Chicago Bulls with Jimmy Butler at a 9-2 overall, also Pau Gasol, Joe Kim, now with Bobby Porter Jr., oh my goodness. And now here are the NBA champions of that 2016 season, the Cleveland Cavaliers with LeBron James at a 9-9 overall, Kyrie, Kevin Love, Matthew Delado, over J.R. Smith, Tristan Thompson, and you guys know I'm a Celtics fan, and I remember this 2016 Boston team so very well. I really enjoyed this team, I'm not gonna lie, with Isaiah Thomas, Avery Bradley, Jay Crowder, Kelly Olynyk, Marcus Smart, I mean, oh my goodness, that was one of my favorite teams. And then guys, we see the LA Clippers with Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan. Can they make the finals in today's simulation? Because remember, they never made the finals in real life, so that's what the simulation today is all about. We're re-simulating to see what could happen, which teams now would do good, or which teams would do bad, or can history repeat itself? As we see the Miami Heat with D-Wade, Chris Bosch, Gordon Dragic, and this Charlotte Hornets team right here actually wasn't that bad. I feel like this was a solid Hornets team with Kemba Walker, Jeremy Lin, Al Jefferson, Batum, Jeremy Lamb, and the Utah Jazz. Gordon Hayward is back in the squad. When Gordon Hayward is on Utah, he was so good. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe it was the injury. I don't know. But anyways, we see the Sacramento Kings with Demarcus Cousins, who used to be one of my favorite centers, and then the Knicks with Carmel Anthony and Chris Asport Zingas. And then we see the LA Lakers. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. He's at an 86 overall. He had that amazing last game where he scored 60 points. And I remember watching that game live. I was about like 17 or 16 years old actually and I was just like this is the best way to go out I mean he is such a legend for that game anyways Dirt and Whiskey and the Dallas Mavericks can they make the playoffs in today's simulation as we see the Brooklyn Nets and this Nets team was kind of cool right there Brooklyn Lopez Joe Johnson and then we see a young Nikola Jokic for the Denver Nuggets at an 84 overall and if you were to tell me Jokic would be a two-time MVP in 2016 a couple years later I definitely would not have believed you but anyways what a career Jokic is having and as we see the Pelicans Anthony Davis Drew Holiday and the Detroit Pistons with Reggie Jackson Andre Drew Drummond. And you Toronto Rogers fans, I know you guys miss this team. DeRozan, Lowry, Valanciunas, Powell. I mean, that was such a fun team out there in Toronto. Of course, James Harden on the Houston Rockets. I did 94 overall. And it's crazy, like five years ago, the Houston Rockets and San Antonio Spurs were some of the best teams in the West. And right now, in today's NBA, they are at the bottom of the Western Conference. As we see the Phoenix Suns with a young Devin Booker at 19 years old and 83 overall. And then we see the OKC Thunder with Durant, Westbrook, Steven Adams. I mean, they blew that 3-1 series lead in the Western Conference Finals to the Warriors. And man, the Thunder should have won that series, gone to the NBA Finals, potentially won the Finals, and Durant should have never left. Like, literally, history changed so much after that series to the Warriors. And then we see the Golden State Warriors, who actually had that 73-9 record and ended up blowing a 3-1 lead in the Finals with Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, Andre Iguodala. But do you guys remember after the Golden State Warriors lost the Finals, the 3-1 meme was everywhere. I mean, you couldn't get on the internet without seeing 3-1. It was crazy. But anyways, we see the Washington Wizards, a very solid squad, John Wall a 92 overall. But it is time to simulate to the end of the season as we are re the 2016 season season here in NBA 2K23. And history repeats itself as Stephen Curry wins the MVP. 37 points, 10 assists per game, shooting 44% from the three-point line. What a season for Stephen Curry as TJ McConnell wins the rookie of the year for the Philadelphia 76ers. And as we go to the sixth man of the year award, it is Yusuf Nurkic from the Denver Nuggets, averaging 12 points, 10 rebounds, a double-double for Denver. And Kawhi from the San Antonio Spurs won the defensive player of the year with 2.7 steals a game. And guys, look at his first team All-NBA, Stephen Curry, John Wall, LeBron James, Blake Griffin, and Chris as Porzingis. I mean, what a crazy first All-NBA team here on NBA 2K23. And as we go to the league leaders in points, it is Curry with 37.8 and I can't get over Porzingis at an 87 overall, scoring 35.1 in second in points per game for the NBA. And then you see guys like Damian Lillard, James Harden, DeRozan, Paul George, CJ McCollum. And as we go to rebounds per game, Anthony Davis with 14.8. I mean, these stats in this simulation are pretty crazy. So all these players went off, I'm not gonna lie. Then we see assists per game, 
game, it is CP3 with 12.1, Curry's in second, then we see LeBron James. And as we go to the NBA Stanks in the East, the Cavaliers have the one seed, then we got the Washington Wizards, the Atlanta Hawks, the Orlando Magic, the Charlotte Hornets, the Toronto Raptors, the Boston Celtics, the Chicago Bulls slipping in the eighth seed. And guys, on the right of the screen, I'm gonna have the actual 2016 standing so you can see what changed or what stayed the same as the other teams that did not make it in the Eastern Conference and the Knicks will finish last. And so no 73 and nine record for the Golden State Warriors in the simulation and they're not even gonna finish first. They're gonna finish second behind the OKC Thunder with 66 wins. And then we see the LA Clippers, the Houston Rockets, the Pelicans, the Utah Jazz with Gordon Hayward and the Phoenix Suns slipping in the AC with 46 wins. And they're the teams that did not make it in the Western Conference as the last teams in the West were the Lakers and the Mavericks. Anyways guys, here's the re-simulated 2016 playoffs on NBA 2K23. And you can see on the screen, I provide the 2016 actual playoffs so you can see what changed or what did not change. A lot of differences though in this simulation. But will history change or will it repeat itself? Well guys, we're gonna simulate this playoffs here on NBA 2K with live games. So sit down, sit back, relax as the road to the finals begins here in their very first round. And so let's get these playoffs underway. Here we come. We will start this postseason off in Utah where the Golden State Warriors will sweep the Jazz 135 to 118 your final. So this Utah team with Gordon Hayward, Rudy Gobert, Rodney Hood will all be eliminated in the first round as the Golden State Warriors are looking to get back to the NBA Finals like they did in real life. And as we go to Cleveland, the Bulls are trying to keep their series alive. They're down 3 to 1 on the road, down by 1 in this game with 40 seconds. Here comes Jimmy Butler work against LeBron. Follow the pull up, no, he's going to give it up to no one in the paint. No a pump fake has nothing. It goes up to McDermott. McDermott now to Bowler, and now to Rose with the shot clock winding down. Rose, the screen from Noah, three-pointer, buries it. Derrick Rose gives the Bulls the lead, and he silences this crowd here in Cleveland with 25 seconds as the Cavs are down by two. They are looking to end the series here at home as LeBron James, 102-100 with the ball, 16 seconds, defended by Bowler. LeBron on the screen, James gives it to Thompson, Thompson to Della Dover, JR fires, bang! JR Smith from downtown, he enters back, and the Cavs have a one-point lead. Timeout Bulls, one shot making here in the clutch. And now Chicago season is on the line, down by one. Six seconds, Buller on the screen. Jimmy Buller going to LeBron. Buller gets position, takes the layup, and it rolls off the rim, it's no good. How did that not drop? And the Cavaliers will beat the Bulls in five games. Heartbreak for Chicago. I thought they were gonna win this game. But now we're gonna go to Oklahoma City where the Thunder drop 148 points on the Suns to end their series in five games. So down goes Phoenix. And can the Thunder get back to the Western Conference Finals like it did in real life? Well, in today's simulation, they're gonna be one step closer. As now we have a tie game six, 131, 131. The Spurs up three to two in the series. Parker throws it away. Pelicans on the break. Can they take the lead? Holiday gives it up to Davis. Pump big on Leonard and Davis scores. Anthony Davis from Drew Holiday. And can the Pelican force a seven game series? These fans are on their feet. This place is rocking right here in New Orleans. As here come the Spurs after the turnover. Parker with the ball one on one against Holiday. Now it goes to Duncan. Duncan got him isolated. Duncan back his way down. Spin and in for Tim Duncan. One of the greats puts it in a tie the game. Timeout Pelicans and a chance to win it. The Pelicans with a chance to force Game 7. The shot clock is off. Here is Holiday with 4 seconds. Holiday to Davis. Davis against Aldridge. Fade away. Missed it. And we got overtime. It isn't over yet. So still no winner in Game 6. And as we get to overtime, 10 seconds. The same situation at the end of regulation. But this time the Pelicans are down by 1 with their C's on the line. They're going to go back to Davis. Davis got to get to the paint. What is he doing? Three is no good, and heartbreak for the Pelicans. What is 2K thinking as Davis misses the three-pointer, and the Spurs will win the series in six to move on. And now it's the two-seeded Washington Wizards over the Boston Celtics in six games, 129 to 122 in Boston, so the Celtics put up a fight, but ultimately Boston will fall short here at home, and for the Wizards, they will be advancing on the conference semifinals in today's simulation. And so we have three game sevens in this first round, as here is one of them in LA, it is the Rockets and the Clippers going at it with 40 seconds remaining. Tied at 106. Harder backing on pole. Draws the double. Oh, what a pass to the corner. Ariza has it. And now it goes to Tucker. Here's Beverly with a shot clock one and down. Beverly's got to take it. Three points.
corner. No good. Great defense from the Clippers. And here comes LA on the break. A chance for the lead. And these fans are all on their feet. About a three second shot differential between the shot clock and the game clock. As Chris Paul takes it back out. 101 against James Harden. He has Blake Griffin to his left. Chris Paul takes it again. Nothing there with seven seconds. CP3 goes to Griffin. Griffin. Here comes a double. Spins out of it. Blake Griffin. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable move and dunk from Blake Griffin. Five seconds. Rockets down two. No timeouts. Here is Harden. It's gonna be goes. And it's no good. The Clippers have won the series. What a finish in LA. Blake Griffin, the game winner. And James Harden as Rockets will fall in a heartbreak on the road. As we now go to a game seven in Atlanta. It is the Hawks over the Raptors. 126 to 134. So how about this? Atlanta with Al Horford takes out the Toronto Raptors with DeRozan and Kyle Lowry. So down goes Toronto. And on goes Atlanta to the conference semifinals. And the Hornets are down by one on the road in Orlando for game seven. 32 seconds. Walk gives to Lynn for three. Puts it in. Jeremy Lynn from downtown silences the crowd here in Orlando as the Magic are down by two. Winner go home. Oh, what a shot from Jeremy Lynn. We got Lynn's sanity in this re-simulation as now Vucevic has it 101. Shot clock in 12 seconds. Vucevic with nothing. It goes to Alfred Payne on the drive. Walker with a fetch. Now it goes to Gordon and the Fournier with a shot clock one and down. The screen for Vucevic. Fournier takes it. Rises. Knocks it down. Tied at 104, what a shot from Aaron Fournier, but here come the Hornets, a chance to win the series, Walker the crossover, pull up for the win, and it's no good, that would have been legendary if he put it in, but anyways, we got a game 7 going to overtime, tied at 104, and as we get to overtime, the fans are on their feet, Orlando down by 1 with 23 seconds, they throw it to Vucevic, and he throws it down, Orlando has the lead, and look at Vucevic flex on the Hornets, can surely get retaliation, 16 seconds, Seconds remaining here in overtime. Walker 101 against Payne. Shot clock is off. Walker, the screen for Jefferson. Kemba, step back for the lead. No good rebound. Jefferson scores into the foul. Unbelievable out. Jefferson to the line. Knocks down the free throw. And Charlotte leads by two with seven seconds. No timeouts for the Magic. Season is on the line. Here comes Payne. Two seconds. Vujovic. Off the mark, and Charlotte will win the series. What a game, what a finish. They win this in overtime, 119-117, and on go the Hornets. And so after that wild first round, we now enter the conference semifinals for today's re-simulation of the 2016 season. And you see the eight teams remaining in the matchups. Hopefully your favorite team is still in it. And can history repeat itself or will it change? Well, guys, let's continue the simulation here on NBA 2K23. So let's go. And just like they did in real life in 2016, the Golden State Warriors will be going to the Western Conference Finals as they sweep the San Antonio Spurs in Game 4, 138 to 112. So down goes Tim Duncan, Kawhi Leonard, and Tony Parker as the Golden State Warriors will advance on. And now we're going to go to the Eastern Conference. It is the Cleveland Cavaliers, the former champions of the 2016 season, who will go back to the Eastern Conference Finals with a sweep over the Hornets, 137 to 129. But I mean, hey, give credit to Charlotte for their run in the simulation, but they will be going home in the second round. And how about this? The Washington will be the Atlanta Hawks in five games to advance to the Eastern Conference Finals to play the Cleveland Cavaliers. So down goes Atlanta in game five and on goes Washington. And so I thought we were going to get a rematch in the 2016 Western Conference Finals, but the LA Clippers will spoil that being the Thunder in six games, 138 to 117 to end OKC's 66 win season. And on goes Chris Paul and Blake Griffin as they will advance to the Western Conference Finals. And guys, this is such a weird Final Four. Of course, you have the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers like it was in real life, but then we have the Clippers and the Washington Wizards. Well, who's going to make the NBA Finals in today's 2016 re-simulation? It comes down to this in the Final Four. Which teams will move on? Let's find out. Here we go. There are two Game 7s in the college Finals as we go to one of them in the East. The Cavaliers and the Wizards are tied in Game 7 with 26 seconds, but the free throw is good from John Wall. Can the Wizards rewrite history and make the Finals right here, right now? And these fans in Cleveland are on their feet. Can the Cavaliers score and take the lead? 22 seconds remaining. Kelly Oubre will defend LeBron James. LeBron with the ball at the top of the key. Shot clock at 13 seconds. As now here comes Thompson to set the screen. LeBron James! Oh my goodness, Cleveland has the lead with 12 seconds. Wizards on a timeout. Season on the line. Here is Bradley Beal, 101 against Smith. Six seconds. Beal the top of the key. Four. The screen. Bradley Beal for the win. 
Oh my goodness! Bradley Beal just won at the buzzer! Are you serious? And history rewrites itself here in Cleveland! And the Washington Wizards are going to the NBA Finals! I am speechless! So the Cavaliers who won it in real life will be going home in the Eastern Conference Finals! And now we're going to go to Golden State to find out which team will play Washington in the Finals! Look at the Clippers down by two! Pull against Curry! 36 seconds! Griffin! Puts it into the foul! LA has a chance to take the lead! Griffin scored the free throw! What is going on in this re-simulation? Will we have a Clippers and Wizards Finals? Well, we are 34 seconds away from it! Or can the Golden State Warriors score right now to take the lead? Here is Curry! Gives it to Draymond! Draymond Green the drive! Working against Griffin! Gets in the paint! Nothing there! Great defense of Blake! Now it goes to Bogut! Into Clay! Clay the drive! Thompson throws it down! Warriors have the lead with 21 seconds! Clippers have the timeout! A chance to win it here on the road! This is what they waited for! This is their moment! Can they go to the big finals? Here is CP3 against Curry! 11 seconds! Takes it out! And now it goes to Blake Griffin! I mean, this is getting intense! Austin Rivers with the ball! 4 seconds! Rivers has a lane! Blocked by Green! It's over! The Warriors will go to the finals! Draymond Green! One of the greatest blocks you'll ever see and it's over down go the clippers in a heartbreak oh my goodness i thought la had this one but man we just witnessed two of the greatest conference game sevens we have ever seen as the warriors will move on and so it used to be the cavaliers versus the golden state warriors but in this re-simulation we have the washington wizards now against the golden state warriors for the nba championship it's a seven game series here on nba 2k23 to determine the winner who's gonna take the finals golden state or washington well let's find out right now and history will rerun itself as we go to Washington because the Golden State Warriors will win the 2016 NBA Finals. And they are now your NBA champions in today's simulation with a sweep over the Wizards. I mean, what a crazy simulation. It was absolute madness. And guys, let me know your predictions on how this simulation went in the comments right now. I want to see all of them. You guys are seriously all the goats. I read all the comments. But man, what a crazy video today. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. It is half done production. Seriously, I can't thank you enough for all the support as the Golden State Warriors are your NBA champions and your finals MVP goes to Steph his first one but thank you so much for watching it is Happy Day Productions and we out